So at this point in our story of genetics, we're actually talking about two scientists that were working together. Their names were Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. The nice thing about this point in scientific history, we're now talking about, you know, 1952. So we've progressed a little bit further, and there's now more women involved in science. So Martha Chase was one of the first really important women in genetics. She worked together with Alfred Hershey, and what they studied were these things called bacteriophages. So we have Alfred Hershey on the right, and then, of course, Martha Chase on the left. And as I said, they're studying these things called a bacteriophage, which, if you translate it, it literally means bacteria eater. It's actually a type of a virus. So in this image, it shows you the bacteriophages. As I said, it's a type of virus. So the virus is shown here. It's sort of this spider-looking thing, and it's attaching itself to the larger bacteria, which is kind of the globular thing in the front. This is another bacteria in the distance. And you can see on this bacteria there's all these little viruses sticking to it all the way around. These are all these guys. So the bacteriophage is a type of virus that attacks bacteria. It injects its DNA, which is held up, up top in this little protein capsule, into the bacteria and it takes that bacteria over and actually causes that bacteria to create more viruses. So this is an actual scanning electron image of the bacteriophage working. So here is the large bacteria again, far bigger than the virus. These are the viruses along the outside, each one individually. They're basically like the little insect looking things that we had before. And what those viruses are doing, they're actually inserting their DNA into this bacteria. And you can see on the inside now, this bacteria is beginning to create more viruses. And eventually the viruses will fill up the inside of that bacteria and it'll rupture and it'll just keep spreading from one bacteria to the next. This is basically what happens to you as well if you get a viral infection. It starts killing your cells one by one very slowly. So now we're going to get to why this is so important. The viruses were important for Hershey and Chase to study because they're going to back up Avery's idea that DNA is the thing that's passing on traits from one organism to another. So in this case, it was easy to study the virus because they're really just made up of two parts. There's a protein coat around the outside. That's what kind of gives it that spider-like appearance. And then there's the DNA <coughs> excuse me, on the inside of the virus. So the way that Hershey and Chase studied this was they either labeled the protein coat with a radioactive marker or they labeled the DNA with a radioactive marker. Now the protein coat is made up of phosphorus. So what they did was they uh, embedded a radioactive marker in the phosphorus and that caused it to glow under their uh, equipment that they were using to observe the virus. The other radioactive marker they put into place was one on sulfur and sulfur is contained in the DNA. So this basically allowed them to track which part of the virus was entering the cell. So if we follow the protein coat, they can see it glowing with their instrumentation. The protein coat ends up staying on the outside of the virus so of the uh, bacteria, rather. So this way, Hershey and Chase know that the protein coat itself is not what's carrying the material that influences inheritance. On the other hand, when they were following the DNA, they saw that actually enters the inside of the cell. So now they know, because the radioactivity is inside of the bacteria, that DNA is the thing that transfers the inheritance from one individual to another. So this ultimately just backs up what Avery had already figured out through his kind of like process of elimination lab where he was going through and eliminating the different macromolecules. He figured out that it had to be DNA that causes inheritance because when he eliminated the nucleic acids, which are the building blocks of DNA, that was the only time that transformation didn't happen. So Hershey and Chase basically just back up his results with their findings.